chicken sausage. I ordered turkey bacon. Hello world, I'm Maya Sendermeyer and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my vlog series. So far I have been able to share my experiences on what it's like to live on the autistic spectrum or rather have Asperger's syndrome. A second thing that I will do is provide uh, my two cents on uh, what's going on with autism in the media. And a third area entails uh, providing tips and advice for those of you who are on the spectrum. I will also reach out to your friends, family members, peers, mentors, educators, employers, and anybody who is inside the autistic community. And finally, I will cover topics on things that I'm passionate about along with sharing the day in the life of Maya Sendermeyer. So check it out. My eggs and chicken sausage are on the stove in there and I'm beginning to smell them. I can hear them sizzling. Uh, I wanted to let YouTube know that, yes, uh, I usually do uh, turkey bacon with um, an egg and maybe some fruit. And sometimes I'll get some hash browns and put them in the oven. If they have them, you know, they have uh, the hash brown patties, you can get at Trader Joe's. But one of the reasons why I chose to uh, do uh, the chicken sausage versus the, I mean, the turkey bacon today or this time is because uh, I've been eating uh, tur uh, uh, turkey bacon for months since last July, and I thought that it would be great to uh, switch things up I, after a while because uh, I'm on the spectrum, and one of the things that I love to do is uh, do things in routine, and uh, I like to eat the same thing every morning. And what I'm trying to do is put a little more variety in my life. Um, now... Uh, had I been a little kid and I wanted to eat the same thing, other people would have probably said, no, Maya, you need to try something different. Or I would want to watch the same movie over and over again, like The Lion King or Mary Poppins. So uh, one, of, one of the things that you can do gradually, if uh, you want to uh, get your child out of their comfort zone, is that you want to uh, tell them to try something new. So... Um, I mean, chicken and turkey are both poultry. Um, try turkey bacon. Let's say if your kid likes turkey bacon, try try something with uh, chicken in it. In my case, I did chicken sausage, and uh, it's not my favorite, but at least I'm giving it a try. Yes, that is uh, more than done today. Uh, get my plate here. Uh, let's see. Um, most of my spatulas are dirty. It looks like they're in the washer, but the dishwasher that is. I'm going to get this turkey ready. Okay. Don't want that pan falling on me. So here it is. Uh, here's my uh, chicken sausage. And without further ado, the egg. Pan, you go back into the sink now. <laughs> Turn the stove off. See the the light is uh, the light uh, that said burner on is now off. I don't know if you quite saw that or not, YouTube. But, um, so okay, what else? So pan is in the sink. Get out the blueberries. Get out this grape juice, which is, uh, it's a ruby red, but uh, the stuff is, uh, this brand uh, at uh, Publix is in particular, it's extremely uh, sour, or it's extremely bitter, but I drink it because uh, grape juice, again, I uh, when I lived with my aunt, I drank lots of grape juice, and Eventually, that uh, fell into a routine as well.
for these sunglasses because I had something very important that I wanted to uh, disclose uh, with you. Um, and for, especially for those of you that are my uh, subscribers that uh, follow my vlogs on a regular basis, you, got, you guys know the gist of uh, what these are about. Um, but why am I wearing these sunglasses? No, it's not because the windows are open. It's because I wanted to get the message across because, uh, yes, I am a huge fan of Casey Neistat. I mean, I've been vlogging or, or vlogging before uh, I even caught on to Casey Neistat. And I mean, I could share uh, how in the world I uh, st uh, stumbled upon his vlogs another time. But uh, the main reason why I decided to wear these sunglasses today is because... Uh, this is not, these are not Casey vlogs. Uh, and here are some reasons why these aren't Casey vlogs. Number one, I don't wear sunglasses in every one of my vlogs. You see my normal uh, blue green colored eyes every single time you see me vlogging in front of uh, my camera. Number two, I uh, don't get on airplanes and travel uh, all around the world and give talks. Even though I have uh, done presentations related to autism and I've done some traveling, in addition to also going on an airplane and going to Hartsfield-Jackson International Airport because of my passions for the uh, autism airport rehearsal tours. Another reason why I uh, this is not a Casey blog is I'm not Casey. I'm Maya. This is a Maya vlog, not a Casey vlog. Uh, another reason, maybe, or number, the third reason, fourth reason, I've lost count at this point. Uh, I don't have an electric skateboard. Um, I don't live in a great big city. I mean, I do. I, I live in Atlanta, but I don't live in some high-rise uh, condo downtown Atlanta and I don't live in some high, uh, high rise condo in New York City. Um, I'd like to visit New York. Um, I'd like to vlog in New York. Um, as I've always wanted to go, because it looks like a really, really um, unique place. And uh, perhaps that's a once in a lifetime experience. Because after all, I mean, Frankie Sinatra wrote a, uh, a great song, uh, New York, New York or start spreading the news. Uh, but those are reasons right there. Um, I don't uh, do interview, I mean, I, not, not interviews, um, I don't do reviews on the latest drones. I don't do reviews on the latest uh, camera and video taping equipment, like, uh, you know, like the Canon, which what Casey has. I don't uh, do reviews on uh, different cell phones, even though I've had different uh, mobile devices. I, uh, I don't have a husband. I don't have little kids. I just have a cat. And uh, have you seen she's in this vlog today? And she's right behind me. So those are some of the reasons uh, why uh, this isn't a Casey blog. What, what I'm intended to do is uh, uh, raise autism awareness and autism acceptance. And my job, out th my job is to also uh, reveal to the world and to YouTube that uh, I have a normal life just like everybody else. Um, I mean, as you guys know, I have a regular job. Um, and I have, in fact, it's a career. I'm going to school at Georgia State University, um, and I got an A minus last semester. Trying to um, clip out of biology, trying to take two classes this summer. Um, I also have my own condominium, and uh, as you see, I uh, cook those meals myself, and I buy my own groceries, and nobody helps me with them. Uh, so, those are some of the reasons why this is not a Casey blog. Uh, what I do have uh, 
in common is that um, I have the same type of energy that Casey Neistat has. Um, Casey and his wife and I are all in the same age group. Um, what I also have in terms of uh, Casey Neistat is I have the inspiration now because I've just watched so many of his vlogs and uh, listened to enough of the type of music that he uh, puts into his videos that I just decided to um, to make my vlogs a bit more lifelike. Not me sitting on this um, easy chair every single time and posting vlogs every single Sunday and Monday. I mean, yes, I'm a daily vlogger now, and thanks to Casey, I am changing the way that I vlog. I mean, no, I mean, I haven't had um, gobs of people come in yet. I've had a few subscribers. I mean, again, I'm at 150, but I am waiting for that day when I can get 1,000 subscribers. I was just sitting in that chair uh, doing my talk about my uh, vlogs versus Casey Neistat's and uh, as soon as I got up after I was done uh, filming over here, uh, AJ took the liberty to uh, make herself at home on here. Did ya? Did ya? Did ya? Yes you did! Hey! Um, well, I need to go, um, uh, I don't need a haircut. I just need to, um, uh, make sure my hair looks more presentable because right now, um, I look like a mad scientist. <laughs> Ooh, my hair is starting to look more shiny. There goes uh, that mad scientist look. Um, yeah, all right. Okay, anyway, I think you've seen enough of that. Um, I think you've seen enough uh, hair videos on YouTube. I mean, it's like hair and makeup and cats seem to be the really big ones right here. Everybody seems to... Uh, be fascinated with a, a girl that has long hair down to her butt going to uh, going from that to my length or um, or you have a trans men's uh, hair styling um, and then other big ones are cat videos whether they be a cat going meow meow which it, this, these videos do have it has a cat um, but you also have cat music videos like uh, Space Cats. That's been around for a long time. And then, of course, you have the fabulous keyboard cats. Do, 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 do. And then um, some of the other stuff you have on YouTube is you remember the famous um, to lo 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 So you get the idea. <laughs> Okay, can't stop this camera. Luckily, I can track my package um, when it was shipped and then uh, take a look and find out when I should expect delivery. I mean, it could come later today. It could come uh, sometime tomorrow. Who knows? But uh, anyway, it is 75 degrees. It's going to be 73 degrees today in Atlanta. Uh, the 73 degrees in rain, um, we have uh, more uh, spring-like weather here. Uh, so for those of you that are living in the northern hemisphere, uh, enjoy all these blooms that are in these blogs. Uh, as I said, they usually happen pretty early around here. I mean, as early as February. Uh, as I also pointed out, We've had a switch from um, January, which was like one month of winter, and then most of February, that's been more going from autumn to uh, 
spring-like weather uh, with daffodils blooming, which they usually do, the saucer magnolias, which uh, you saw in my last vlog. Uh, there are lots of, uh, I don't know what they are, flowering pear trees or some kind of blossoms anyway. I haven't seen any peach blossoms yet, being that Georgia is the peach date. So, uh, anyway, uh, I'm headed off now. But if you like what I'm doing, please be sure to uh, subscribe and uh, give me a thumbs up if you like what I'm doing. And Casey Neistat, uh, please be sure to check out these vlogs. I've been following you since late 2016. You're a lot of fun. Uh, you're an inspiration. Uh, you're really funny. You have an amazing wife. You have a cute little girl. Uh, and you have uh, a really, really rad son. Uh, keep up your good work. Uh, I would, I, even though I don't have fancy camera equipment on me here, I work at Georgia State University and I'm a student. They have a whole film and media department at GSU. I would absolutely love to get a vlog interview with you. And um, I actually, I'm gonna be giving you a shout out here in the next uh, 